What you're seeing here is a world first, potentially life-saving treatment, a part of the picture which could help bring us back to some normality. It's an antibody cocktail, specifically designed to protect people from COVID-19. Just that glimmer of hope yeah. that we're going to get back to some kind of normality and get out again. Yeah. Karen, an intensive care nurse in Yorkshire, is the first person on the planet to receive it. I think it's really important because we're there, we're around it all the time. Um, and I know I'm not the only person from our unit that signed up for this. So, you know, it's a good thing. And, and we're sort of being, we're being role models, I guess, in a little way. Professionally, I've obviously seen the, the impact that COVID's had over the last, sort of, since March, working back in intensive care with both waves. So professionally, I've seen the devastation, really, that it's caused for patients and their relatives. I miss my friends. I miss going out for my monthly meals with my girls and hugging my girls and anything I can do to get back to some kind of normality, I'd do it. This antibody injection, which is set to be fully rolled out next year, offers an alternative to those in whom the vaccine won't work. Vaccines usually work by pushing the immune system to create its own antibodies to fight off infection. But this may not work for the sick or elderly who have a weakened immune system. The antibody treatment gets around that by putting antibodies straight into the recipient. It's hoped that protection will be instant and last between six months and a year. We can't understate the importance of this. I mean, any interventions to help us again in the fight against COVID are, are, are hugely important. And um, we've had the fantastic news just in the last week around the, um, the effectiveness of the, the vaccines. But the reality is that there will be some of the population that won't mount an antibody response to those vaccines. So this is just another um, potential intervention to help. Across the UK, there are nine sites working rapidly in the final stages of trialling this drug. 500 people will receive it, whilst another 500 will think they've been given it, so medics can work out its full effectiveness. The next stages will see it rolled out in care homes and even prisons. This type of um, passive immunity won't ultimately make the big difference uh, for the control of the epidemic. What it will do is enable us to protect particularly vulnerable sections of society, the sort of people who, if they got the infection, would almost certainly have very severe disease and have a much higher chance of dying. The financial cost, however, is high. Just one dose costs over £450. It's why they'll administer millions instead of billions. But this is yet another glimmer of hope, another piece of our armour in our fight against COVID-19. And people like Karen, her colleagues and many other millions of vulnerable people can be protected from this disease which has consumed our lives. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News in Wakefield.